give me one second. Okay. I don't know if you guys will be able to, um, I don't know if you guys will be able to see the, um, um, captions. New game. Oh. Uh, just so we can see it in its full glory. Why is it so dark on my screen? What the fuck? Oh. How the fuck do I move like this? Jesus. There, Jesus. Sick. Mm, no. This. We go what? Jesus. Can't move. Why can't I move? I wanna move. No. God, that's terrifying. 
God. The tension was the tension was so high. Uh. Oh, it's because my headset was bright. I was like, why do I not hear myself? You uh. Hello? You hear something, Peggy? Huh? Here. I thought I heard someone yelling, or I don't know how. Forrest, is this a joke? No, I, <laughs> I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some uh, cats outside. Cats? Fucking you know, Peggy. four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. <laughs> I know what a cat is, but I mean, does Gallows Creek have a stray cat problem or something? <laughs> Not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously? No. Do we have to do okay. these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show, and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're Why sure you don't want to... <sighs> yeah, why not? Alright, fine. Let's get through this. Alrighty, this is your captain speaking. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rents. Let's start with record flame. <sighs> okay. Grab a record. I should have asked this when the stream started, but easy. Is the uh, audio fine? The game audio? I was not paying attention. Was what was I supposed to do? Uh, Forrest, you need to grab a record and stick it on the turntable. Oh! The record box is on the left, and the record player I is on the know. right. I know! I'm choosing a song! Can table. you fucking wait, Miss Patient? Jesus. I like this one. This one. Eh. Yes, please put it on the there. Got it. Great. Now turn it off. I don't want. I don't want to. Hold on. I'm gonna fucking turn off the sensitivity. All right, up next, phone line buttons. Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. All right, Peggy, ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don. You get it? Yeah, it's Shut a riot. Up. Great, and button two works just the same. So, let's move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. Oh Press God. it when you need my help during the show. Hmm. Is there a Peggy mute button? They haven't invented it yet. Now come on. Oh, the Peggy a button note. is the third one on the phone line. I labeled it for you. I pressed it. Oh. <sighs> Press for Peggy. This is huh. your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? <laughs> Sound blaster next. That's an Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Fuck. Okay. Peggy, I was half listening. Sound blaster. <laughs> Front of the desk to the right. Yes. Is that? Uh. Uh. It's the thing covered in buttons. Oh. Uh. Uh, 
There we go. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're almost done. Just the volume sliders left. These should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. No, no. Wrong with this one. All right. Seems to be all working. We done? Captain? <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for landing. Local time? Yeah, I should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. Oh, it's my damn fun it. side that gets me in trouble. Now, let's get the show started. After your introduction, Ooh. our first segment is Guess That Scream. Hi, Seth. I Hi, thought Seth. that was a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Oh. Okay, you're live in three, Are you two... Today? I'm good. The bear. Good evening, Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest <laughs> oh, yeah, Nash, and you're listening to 189.16, The Scream. The bear. Before no. we start taking your calls it's the tonight bear. on Gallows Creek's you, only Safi? late night phone in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. I'm gonna play you a scream, then you call and guess that scream. Yes, ma'am. We ma need you to guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one? I do have That's water good. next to me. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Hey, what do you mean, play the tape? I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, no, I, I don't want to. Yesterday. You didn't give me shit. Forrest, you do have the tape right. You, you didn't give me shit. Doing this tonight. Peggy. What tape? Let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. No, I. What are you doing I today, Staff? It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest. And you're the one at the mic, so... No! God. So we had three meals for snacks. Uh, yes. I have. I've been doing better. Uh, I ate what I've become. Really, Peggy? You want, you want me to scream? You know oh. this show depends on my golden voice, right? Come on, Shit. Forrest, Wrong just option, do anyways. it. That's enough dead air already. Good then. <laughs> just think of a scream and let it rip. Oh God. I don't want to. <laughs> I'm back. Ooh. Had to step away there for I a second. I don't want to scream. Listen close, and then call in to surgery. Ooh, guess how the surgeries scream. go? Oh. Oh. Which one? What do I do? Um. <laughs> um. Drowning. Oh, I, I genuinely want to see what the drown here. What the drowning scream sounds like. <laughs> What the fuck? Well, folks. What the fuck? There you have it. Call in with your well, that's really if you get it right, that's you good. Can win. Two I'm glad they went well. The amazing maze maze and one free fried dough. Fried dough. Just call in at 555-239 KFAM with your guest. Now, here's some music while you get dialing. Uh Yeah, oh, d no, it wasn't. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this mess? Lighten up, Forrest. I even highlighted my Huh. Interesting. Oh, Forrest, there's a call coming in. 
Aww. Okay, Forrest, shut the music up. One, two. Oh. At least this game auto saves. The call coming in. This. Welcome this to 189.16, the stream, caller. You're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. Hi, Wesley. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 yeah. operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Oh. Well, Leslie, I guess it must be a slow night for crime if you've got time to call in. What can we do for you? Slow night? Forrest, I found a body. Uh. I need help. No, Forrest, I recognize your voice. High. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not gonna be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's eh. in my contract. Forrest, but I really don't think this is a prank. I'm half listening right now. I'm playing fucking basketball with my trash. Leslie, I'll level with you. I find this hard to believe, but I'll hear you out. What exactly is going on? Sheriff Matthews is dead. Oh. oh, Sheriff Matthews is dead. The sheriff is get any dead. From the department. That's never happened before. So I came to the station and I found him. Oh God, poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close, and I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. Okay, so she actually moved. He's okay. surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... Well, is, is anyone else at the station? Anyone who can help you? Or, or who might be responsible? No. I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you Jesus. right after I found her. God. Wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be Better, it has three. We have three. But Officer ah. Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Leslie, do you have any uh, idea who could have done this? Not a clue. Even I better. I didn't see anything on my way over. Not one, not Leslie, two, but three local cops. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson cops. or Quiet Ridge. And the 911 operator. Their department. I tried, but it's I great. can't call anything awesome. but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll Sad. have to go there myself. Let them know what's going on, and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's gonna man the emergency line? That's why I called. What? Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls to come in to you. Why? I'm why? a radio talk show host, Leslie. I talk to idiot people about their idiot ideas. I'm not a 911 operator. Why me? You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. You're the only person equipped for the job. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. It's like oh. an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Okay. Keep people That's talking, listening. you know? Guide okay. the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know okay. that I'm so good at interviews. They sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, Why? there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Hell, let's have some on-the-job training right now. Oh, God. I have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez okay. out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever Listen attacked like, threw go. the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell. And the door itself only has a food I don't like slot. this music. Play the other play this and one. That's too Please. narrow for me to reach through. There's got to be another way in. Uh There's got to be set another keys. set of keys somewhere in that office. Reasonable. Those can't be the only one. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Uh Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he, you know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but I didn't really look up close. 
One second. Okay. Oh, I think I might be sick. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm just gonna turn you over and... Oh. Please don't stare at me. Uh, well... I... Oh, wait. That might be them. I, I, th I think I got the cell keys. Looks like Sheriff Matthews cool. might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? They do! Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? Uh. Oh! I don't even know if that made it! Holy shit! Look at me go! Basketball star. Put me in the end, uh, NBA. Um. Perfect shot, right? Oh my god! That is an NBA worthy shot right there. Um. I, I swear to God, Peggy, if this is some sort of joke, I'm leaving this town. I've never heard of anything sure. like, like this happening in broadcast. I've never heard about anything like this either. But we're here now, <gasps> Forrest, and we've just got to see what Ouch. happens next. Oh, <laughs> Martinez. There we go. Well, yeah, but. I'm gonna sit you Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna fucking pause for a fucking second. How tall do I? I'm legitimately like, do you have to be to make it to the NBA? There's no minimum height requirement, but the uh, relatively smaller individuals are five foot three and five foot five. Five three and five five. I'm back. Deputy I'm five Martinez one. is still out cold. I'm taking yeah, her in the car with me to get help. Six in six. If the killer came back Versus now, eight inches Martinez taller than the U.S. average height for males. Oh my God! No way. I don't believe that. That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risk right now. Thank you, Forrest. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. Hello? What? My car! My car is on fire! Your what poor do you car! Mean it's on fire? How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. What? Ew. No, no way. This can't. Oh, I'm gonna Christ, have. We have big trouble. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like whistling. Whistling? It can't be. Oh my god. I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? But that mask and how the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The Shit. whistling man. The whistling man? Oh, so scary. Who's the whistling man? Killer back in the 50s wore that mask, but he's dead. He's yeah. what the hell? Oh, Fuck god. yeah, do you think right? Oh my god, do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? Eh, eh, he's eh, coming this eh, way. Eh, eh, eh. Stay inside and lock oh. the doors. Right, Forrest, come on, you need to focus. Sorry, we need to think. I, I sneezed. I think you need station. to stay put and hide in the station. Hide you the should station. be safe in there. We can't just stay in here. I need to go get help. I get it. And what if he gets in? What if he finds us? There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should take one of those. I... Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any... Uh, Reach into your pocket there, deputy, and... Yes, got him. Keys for squad car three. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Fuck! Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. But, wait. How am I supposed to get us to the car? The whistling man is right there. Eh. Yeah. Uh, the gun. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. I... Oh, shit. Shit. Empty. He must have emptied it trying to defend himself. 
Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? To focus on I didn't see anything earlier. Eh. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. Eh. Fuck! God damn it! It's bullshit. I suck at this. All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. I can only hold one oh God. if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. What should I take? Oh, God. Assuming that the whistling man is the guy from the beginning of the game, do not take pepper spray because there's a mask. So, and I feel like the taser won't work because there's nothing showing, so... I feel like the right option is a baton. I think. At this point, I'm being like legitimately tactical about it. Um, oh my god, I got an achievement. This is dead air. Don't respond unprompted for 30 seconds. Oh my god, I love that. Um, baton. I take the baton. You can always trust a beating stick. Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez and then jab him. Jab him in the groin. Do you hear that? No. No, I, I can't hear anything. Exactly, it's gone quiet. No more knocking. Be careful. Be careful. I don't like it. Me neither. But it's an opening, and I've got to take it. Okay, Deputy Martinez, if you can hear me, it's time to move. Just lean on me. <gasps> yep, there you go. Are you sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? So... Here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to okay. radio you when How I reach the car. How the fuck did you do that? If I reach it. <sighs> Speak to but you But even soon. the gun didn't work. It was. I'm guessing it's a close range. It's dead. Right? Like, oh my god. Duh! <laughs> They're both the same phrase, but one has an exclamation point, and the other one has dot dot dot. So either, good luck, Leslie, or... Good luck, Leslie. Either kind of act excited about it, or just, like, just bland. <laughs> should I be bland? Oh my god. I should be bland. Bland, bland, yeah. Well, good luck. Oh my god, that was bland. This is the part where the killer comes out of nowhere, Jesus. <sighs> you know, I've got to say... This really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready right? for everything in oh live radio. Oh my god. Shit! Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. Oh. I'm putting the call through. Hello? Oh, Forrest? hi. Peggy? Hi. This is Leslie. Are you there? Yes. Over. Hi. 10-4. That's a big 10-4 there, good buddy. I, I'm guessing you made it to the car then? Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Deputy Martinez is in the passenger seat, still out cold. Okay. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't have to wait for him. So I'm going to get oh us. God, the music is not helping my fucking stress. God. Ah! Get back! Get away from her! Leslie, what's happening? The whistling. No! Get off her, you son of a bitch! Jab him. Get off! Do you think you got away? Forrest, he slit her throat. Oh. You need to get to Henderson, Leslie. God damn. We can't let this happen again. Peggy's right. We've all got our part to play now. How long do you think it's going to take to get help? Gallows Creek is a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while, maybe two, three hours each way. Jesus. Slightly less if I put my foot down. Oh, I have options. You better floor you keep it. that pedal to the floor, though. <laughs> we'll see when you're back. Thank you. I'll be back.
back as fast as I can. All right, both, I... God damn it. I need a minute. I'll be out of range soon. How soon? I'll radio back as soon as I can, once I got the cavalry. Alright. Try not to crash! Try not to crash. <laughs> we, uh... We need you back in one piece. Good luck, Leslie. You don't need your headphones off. Is this gum? Why haven't Folks, they you heard it here. Uh, We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Ooh. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. We're gonna get back to the show, meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind, or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189.16. The bear. The scream. <laughs> for now, here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. Yeah. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. This is actually insane. Did she really say it's going to take her four hours? This guy's going to kill half the town four to in four six. hours. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know, I know, I just... Who is this Whistling Man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Mooney. Went Aww. around in a freaky mask, whistling. And about a dozen folks no reason for it. No motive. We just... Oh. Uh, so we're screwed. So we're probably we're screwed. screwed at this yes, point. Sounds like we're screwed. <laughs> well, probably not. Police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. We call it Whistling Point now. And it was, well, it was on this night, actually. The police cornered him, jumped into the river. His body was never found. So yep. is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? The story is he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right, that's the story. What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. Uh, so we're so screwed. Because it sounds like we're screwed. We're screwed. We're not screwed. Yes, we are. Things just aren't great right now. <sighs> at least we got the word out, I guess. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight? Could be around 35? 35? Isn't 3,500? Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 people. Oh my Actors. god, that's lame. Are you serious? We only have 35 listeners? 35, yeah. It's a school night. <sighs> and what's the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? Oh. How many did you get before? You know. Before uh. my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah, before that. Around five for most shows on the low end? Big gas could pump that up to well, 10, 15. God damn it. 5,000 on the low end? I could only dream of that. Five million. Million? Yeah, well, yeah, I came from fucking Chicago, okay? Were you listening? At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet, I guess. Yeah, I guess we're gonna learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Yeah. Oh, we have a call coming in. No! Take it when you're ready. No! Time to turn the music off. No! I don't want to! I just want to jam. You know? Okay, Forrest, shut the music jam. off. I, it's off! Can I keep it running? Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. Is everything, uh, all right? Ew. Ew, I don't like that. I don't like this. Okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? Oh, God, Sav. Oh, no. I... Okay, what's your name and why are you calling in? Bro. You know That's some shit ass whistling. Name. 
You need to work on your whistling techniques there, buddy. I've come back from the dead to kill again. No one's safe. Do you accept requests? Do you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. Oh. <laughs> Trying to beat me so bad. You must make right? A sacrifice to us. A sacrifice to us. <laughs> I, I mean, me. Oh shit. <laughs> we want cheese dusted pretzels. I mean, I want cheese dusted pretzels. Oh my god. I'll cut your face off. Goddamn kids. I'm cutting them off. I want to deal with them. I want to deal with them. Uh, we also want a mega goal. <laughs> you little shits. You little shits, you know that? There's been death tonight. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> man, suck it, old man. Gallows high for one. Woo! For anyone just tuning in, we do, in fact, have an actual killer out on the streets tonight. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. I could have done better. I could have done better, to be honest. Because that was bullshit. It's fucking midnight. Bunch of fucking... Oh. Oh, no! Peggy, what the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. A thing? Thing! Oh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this whistling man character? They think it's funny, but it's not. It's not funny at all. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie... No, that... That's real. <sighs> Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. No! Right. Let's do this. I don't want it. I do not want it. Nuh uh. Please. We have a call waiting. I know! Shut up! Look, look. <laughs> bitch, let me do my fucking thing. If you don't shut the fuck up, I'll. Come into that fucking booth of yours and I'll snap your goddamn neck. And that is a goddamn threat, so shut the fuck up. I know what the fuck I'm doing. Shit. Okay, I hi. I should take this call. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me. <laughs> They're casually Nash. threatening her. What? I, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> Storm might be scarier than the whistler. Oh, I fucking am. I fucking am. <laughs> well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's your name and what's your trouble? And my name is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. The sheriff's dead. I'm sorry, Sandra, He's straight but the up sheriff with her. Is dead. We're trying to get help in from Henderson now. Still not as scary what? as me when I'm hungry. Oh, God. True. Listen, you've got to help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run, and now some psycho dressed like the whistling man is after me, knife in hand. Oh, God. It's actually happening. Oh. Um. Where are you, Where now? Are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Oh, I did, baby. I jazz ran all the way to my Don't car call me baby! But it's disgusting. Somewhere along the way. That's reserved I never the door for me. I got a place to Moving. I'm the only one who gets to call myself baby, okay? Nobody else. So you can screw off with your baby bullshit. Um, very well Is there anywhere go. else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Oh, I'm not going back out there. I. <gasps> oh, shoot. Oh, he's back. <gasps> 
about cars, but I gotta start this engine without the keys, and you're gonna have to help me. I don't know how to wait, pick wait, pocket. Wait, what the fuck? If it helped, I got a toolkit buried beneath my spare sweatbands. I'll call you back when I find it. Jesus. Okay. You're listening to 189.16, The Scream. The bear! Hosted by me, Forrest Nash, your friendly neighborhood radio host, mechanic, and savior. Sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. Yeah. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something? Timberline Twins Talk Motors. Oh yeah. my god. You know they're not even brothers. Really? Why? They're the same, though. I know. Oh but they're not what even the related. It's weird. I asked Jesus. them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Huh. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. Uh. Well, I'll have you know I will call you baby if I feel like it. <laughs> Uh, did, did any of you catch where she said she was? Uh, it will be closed from second to night. So you can't go through the assignment for any street. Okay. Where the fuck did she say she was? I, w I, w I was half paying attention. Um, I was half paying attention. Uh, the keys. Um, I don't even know where she was. I know she was running. Um, didn't she say she was at the store or something? She said she was at the supermarket, right? I remember not. <sighs> See, this is why I prefer not to play games like these because I talk over because I talk over valuable information and I'm always half listening. Oh. You find anything? No. Remind My... me what I'm looking for again. The caller is trying to start a car without the keys. Ah, uh, yeah, and we have a car show, right? Timberline Twins Talk Motors, yeah. Ah! Oh. I would go see what they have on their desk at the far end of the offices. Thanks, Peggy. Wait. You have to go out? Why did... Why did the ambience get... Why, why did the ambience change? Can I come up with you? Fuck you, Peggy! Am I even supposed to get out of here? The windows are emitting gray and purple light. That's fine and red. So many locked doors, so few keys. Right. I'm not 
getting in there tonight. Where am I? Oh, look, an ominous red light, right? Like, oh my god. Where the fuck am I supposed to go then? This has to be important. Oh, is this what I was supposed to find? Oh, well, I'm a dumbass then. What does this say? Um, uh, I borrowed your car theft magazine. Those Huevo Rancher Rancheroos ha aren't sitting right. Gonna need something to read. Pray for me. Huh. Look, just casually, pink light, and then, oh shit, ominous red light, that's not scary at all. Not scary at all. Peggy. Look what I found, Peggy. When you're... Hey, you find anything? I found a note. Good. And did you find anything else? No. The only thing I found was this godforsaken goddamn note. Plot twist, Peggy's the one killing. Oh my god! Holy shit, imagine? Remind me what I'm looking for again. The caller is trying to start a car without the keys. Ah, uh, yeah, and we have a car show, right? Timberline Twins Talk Motors, yeah. I'm gonna search again. Thanks, Peggy. Either I'm really dumb, or there's nothing else to find. Oh, so I can just casually enter the woman's restroom? Hi, Amanda! How you doing, my friend? Some killer frequency to that. Ready to go to the dentist. Ooh. I have mixed feelings about the dentist. I need a key to get in there. Yeah, well, I don't have a fucking key. Do any of these desks have a key? Now, Storm, you can't go breaking into the woman's restroom like that. Well, Staff, I, I'm a female playing a male character, practically female eyes right now. <laughs> Paper, taking this. Um, I don't like it. The dentist fucking sucks. <laughs> No, I'm, bitch, I want to read it. Well, it's not important, so I can't even fucking read it. Eh. Shit. Oh my god, I'm struggling. Okay, look at it. Nothing special. Uh... Nothing in them. You guys are lame. What the fuck? Oh, 
map. You guys are so... How's your morning so far, Amanda? Uh, no. Cool, nothing important. Uh. Oh, there's a tape. The desk is stressing me out. I got a grilling spree ad. I'm taking it back. Screw you guys. I feel like this this might be fucking important. Just coming in here just to Can I place it in I got a tape. You're telling me I can't place it in these compartments? What the fuck? The fuck is wrong with this place? Fine. Putting it there. That's. Oh my god. Can we just take a moment on how it's called grilling spree ad? Kind of sounds like killing spree ad. <laughs> the. The. the um, man of the um, purple glowing desk. Also. I want this clock. It's so cool. Wee. Um. Cool clock, right? I don't have that in my room. Oh. God. God damn. Sorry for my flashbang, you guys. Jesus. Not finding anything interesting. Probably because I'm not checking the fucking desk drawers. You don't have any drawers. That one doesn't have any drawers. This one don't have drawers. Nope. Nope. God, you people. You people don't use your fucking drawers. People are fucking crazy. What's this? Uh, Ultra Groove Town, despite uh, privacy options, not. Ah. Nope. Oh, what's this? Gallows Creek Chill Cookoff Champion 1984. Bitch. Well. That's well, I can't find shit. I have screwdrivers and all that shit and tickets, but it's all I can find. Yeah, Peggy, I can't find shit. Peggy, let me in! Oh. Fuck you. I hope you get murdered, Peggy. You find anything? Bitch. I found a note. Good. And did you find anything else? A note. I'm done looking. Let's just get on with the call. You sure about that? Yes. Yeah, let's do this. If you're sure. Yes! When you're ready, shut the music off. The music is off. Oh, you mean legitimately. Well. Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? <gasps> the creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. Ew. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. How do we start this, baby? Um. Oh, shit. Um. Fuck. Um. Do you guys know how to do this shit? <laughs> I 
Um, because I sure don't. I should have looked around a little bit more. Um, uh, screwdriver, maybe? Um, dude, let's Put try the that. Put in the ignition and twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. Fuck. What next? Um. Unscrew the steering column. Let's try Unscrew that. the steering column. All right. Just turn. Just turn. One, two, one, two. Oh, God. How long are these screws? Okay. Covers off. Okay. There's a bunch of wires down here. I'll pair it up and... My heart is pumping. Uh, tell, tell me exactly what you see. Okay, <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, my, a blue wire, a yellow wire, a, a green wire, and a brown wire. Brown wire, okay. Oh, oh, god. Um, strip the blue and red wires, and twist them together. Strip the brown and green wires and twist them together. Strip and twist the red and yellow wires. Um. Okay. In movies, you often see just the blue and red wires. Would it be like one of those scenarios? <laughs> I feel like it would be one of those scenarios. Um. God, okay. Uh. Strip the blue and red wires and twist them together. Okay, here we go. Blue and red and twist and turn and. Oh! Oh! Oh, it won't turn off! Oh, don't listen to me, Cat Radio. Three pink wires going into the stereo. Oh, fuck. Uh, uh, get the middle Cut wire. The middle wire. I killed Sandra. <gasps> I fucking killed Sandra. Oh my god. Zap is gonna do a fucking kickflip over my goddamn head when she hears this news. Oh my god. Because I know sometimes she lurks, so. Oh no. Jazz, <laughs> jazz heaven. Jesus Christ. Um. I'm so sorry, Sandra. I'm so sorry, Sandra. You didn't deserve that. Is there a way <laughs> to <horrible> save. <sighs> Folks, Gallows Creek just lost one of its own. Everyone, please stay home. <sighs> stay home, stay safe, and stay tuned. This next track is dedicated to Sandra. Taken too soon. Ready and we. Bitch. Up. I still can't believe this is happening. <sighs> right? You're stuck. Like Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about. What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Really? Miserable? Peggy, be honest. be honest. It's a dump. There's nothing to do here. Hell, I'm almost ready to thank this whistling guy for at least making things interesting. Well, I uh. like it here. People are polite and, uh... 
stab happy? Don't be awful, Forrest. Well, fuck Come you! Come on, there must be something you like about this place. After a while, you don't even notice the smell? I guess that's nice. Smell? Oh, we're back. What the? There's no smell. Yes, there is! You, you've lived here your whole life, Peggy. You, you wouldn't got no recognize point. it by now. Anyway, I hope the killer is done for the night. And that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. Can we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now? Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Thank God. Holy shit. 1242, that... that was Caller on minutes. line one. You want. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Oh. Open shot. Hit the button and take the call. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. The Bear. And tonight's 911 stand in. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Hi, Brian. Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. <laughs> Hello, Brian. Of Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Hello, Pizza. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What have you got to say about what's happening? Oh, I'm so sad that Deputy Martinez didn't make it. I saw her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Just terrible. Anyway, terrible. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for doing your best. So... I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza here at Ponty's Pizza. Thanks. Just a little something to look forward to when all this blows over. Wow. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. That's really good of you. <laughs> you really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck. Because oh. we're always running great. I'll have you eating for pennies. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. Oh, 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 no, oh, no, no, no. Poor choice it was tonight, I guess. <sighs> yeah, that didn't come out great. I'm sorry for it. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else of coming on down to Ponty's Pizza. We've got a great special this weekend. Our famous beer and pizza deal. Wait a minute. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. Bro, oh, what a Peg, bitch. Hang up on him. Done. Thank oh, you. Real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Now, a word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? No. Nope. In flight check time. Christ. Oh, no. Our captain would like to remind you that the station is required by law to play advertisements from our sponsors. Grab a cassette and stick it in the player. The cassette player is on the desk in front of you. Yeah, I know. Just above the sound blaster. This. There should be a cassette in the dock nearby. Too bad I'm playing a grilling spree ad. How the fuck do I work this way? Oh. Hit eject to open the player, then stick the tape in. Then you just gotta hit play. Eh. <laughs> Well, we. So I have to choose one of these. Oh. Is there a certain way I have to put this in? Time to play a commercial. I know. I'm getting to it. How do I, bitch? How do I put this in? Grab 
grab a cassette. We need to play a commercial. I, the, the bitch, shut the fuck up. How do I put this in? Confused. We gotta keep the lights on. I know. Hold on. Give me one fucking second. I need to know what button to fucking press. Let's see. It's pissed me off. Ain't telling me what the which buttons to press. Uh. <sighs> Google isn't being useful. Play a commercial. I fucking no. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, hold on. Let me fucking back out. I want to play this ad. I was, uh, I was using, I was, I was, I was. Come on, I was boys, using, play a commercial and we can move on. Shut up! Done. <laughs> Great party, man. <laughs> Thanks. Can I grab another beer? Hey, sure thing. Let me grab you one out of the fridge. Oh, no. We've had a beer. What am I going to do? The party is going to be over. Fear not. A grilling spree will be my God. a six-pack of beer if Gala's High wins this Tuesday. Say what? That's right. Order a meal deal from us and you'll get a free six-pack of beer if Gala's High wins. A free six-pack? Righteous. You what the fuck? Six beers if Gala's High wins. Sounds like you've already had enough beers. <laughs> I hope we <laughs> murder them. <laughs> Me too, Billy. Oh my god. We've got barbecue you'll die for. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hey Forrest, do you know what the Grill Reaper's favorite grilling spree order is? No. Uh, I have a feeling you're gonna tell me. Spare ribs. Uh just get me back on the air. And we're back. We got a collar. You know what to do. Okay. Welcome to the scream with me, Forrest Nash. Forrest Nash. Hold on, give me one second. Yeah, Leslie. Okay. Sorry. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs. And wait, wait. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. Yeah, she's not here, bitch. God, another one? What is my favorite snack? Ribs, spare ribs. I, bitch, I am 911. I am 911. This feels so hot. At least for tonight, anyway. Damn it, son. I don't care who you are. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Matthews Sheriff is Matthews dead. Matthews is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Bitch, she told me everything. To do an interview for the reporter. I can cite you as an anonymous source, if that's a concern. We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on? Damn it. All right. There's obviously a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. <laughs> Teens. They get worse every year. Nah, this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it.
I, do, I, I don't think it's... You don't understand. That's not a prankster. That's the whistling man. Of course it's not. It's a stupid kid. Every year I don't like Maurice. Happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. You can watch them on any TV set here. There's a set in the boardroom. Can you get Maurice, out of there? Is there any way you can get out I of there? I don't want to kill another ah, person. I sure as shit hope so, kid. Oh but my god, I'm not what the sure fuck? how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. He's blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. That's right. Jump out the window. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... Oh my is... god. <laughs> Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? Yeah. In different rooms, with different extensions. Uh-huh. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. And get an exclusive interview with the killer? Oh my god. Coming... Coming to you live from whatever building where you have the killer here to do an exclusive interview. <laughs> uh, um. God, imagine that though. That'd that be could fucking work. funny. Exactly. It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Yeah, sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out. You realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. Thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. Okay. You... you don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. Russell... I'm here. Hello, I'm back. going to be here any second, too. Go check your fax machine. Don't let me down. Um... How do you know our fax fast. machine How do you know our fax machine number? KFAM and the Gallows Reporter have a pretty long history. Oh? Tell me where the fax machine is again, Peggy. The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. Christ. Okay. Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. Like... In here. Should be a fax. This must be it. Goddamn. I always feel like this... Uh, I always feel like somebody's just gonna pop out one of those doors. Peggy! Motherfucker! What's up? Close. Oh my god. That's not what I wanted. Close the door. Thank you. Peggy, son of a bitch, hello. Hey, did you get the fax? Yes, I did. I, I lost, lost it. it. How did you lose it? The fax machine is just down the hall. Do you, um, I mean, do you think we could get him to send it again? I'm sure he'll be more than accommodating. I like sarcastic Peggy, I have to say. Mr. Russell, you, uh, you still with us? I am. You get my fax? I yeah, got it right here. I got it right here. Good. Peggy. I knew you could at least manage that. 
Okay, folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Here's the situation. Okay. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. And now he's in the office next door. It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number and then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? Uh... Hold on. My TV is too fucking far. Okay. Hold on, I have to read. What's that say? Oh, the archives, the archives. Call the oh, archives. archives. Extension is 01. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? Uh, uh good kitchen. You're moving to the kitchen. The kitchen? That's just across from the archives. Yeah. It's going to be tight. Are you sure, Nash? Yeah. I'm sure. I'm ready oh. to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling now. Actually heading to the archives. Oh. It was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Ah, uh, don't mention it. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move. I'll call when I get there. Do you think he'll make it okay? Yes. I'm sure he'll be fine. But now what do we do? Watch his We gotta find some way for thighs. him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could... Oh! Calling coming. Oh my Ready? god. Fuck it. Ready, Ready as I'll ever be. Put him oh. Well, the fuck Alrighty. Put him through. Mr. Bitch. Russell, are you there? Yeah. By the skin of my teeth, I am. He came out of the archives almost as soon as he entered. Thank God I made it in here just a second before. The killer already searched the archives. He probably didn't have to look around much. Did he see you? Are, are you safe for now? He didn't see me, no. Let me just check the security cameras to see where he went. Looks like he's heading towards the cubicles. We have enough intern desks to keep him busy for a little while. I'm not out of the woods yet, though. Uh, right. Let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. I, I can move the furniture out of the way. But not quickly or quietly. Uh, can you walk Maybe you could fight him. You know, knock no. him out for a few seconds. Fuck. Son, I am 55 years. Yeah, you still have some fight left in you. Killed Sheriff Matthews. I don't like my chances. Now, punch him, put him in the dick. <laughs> I swear to God, I can't believe myself these days. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Back when I was a champion, bantamweight <laughs> boxer in college, maybe. But not today. Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. Punch him, butt him in the dirt. Damn fire regulation. Say but it clean off. The office has to unlock from the inside. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Wait, wait, no. No, no, no. I got it. The secret archive through my office. Where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? Well, imagine. Now it's not the time! I don't think now it's time to be playing around like that. You're right. Sorry, Forrest. Kids, we're in the big time now. I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. 
You can't break out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in... We can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Oh my god. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Uh... Maybe we could use a radio. Not There's good at no this. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there Fuck. no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. That might be what we need then. Is his portable uh, radio still there? It should be. It's what he calls his work radio. It should be in the archives, actually. I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted with his search. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. Okay. We're gonna save him, Forrest. Heck, if this works, we might even save the whole town. Oh, my phone. Um, don't get too excited, please. There's still a lot to do before we celebrate. Ugh. Let's just see how it goes first. What do you mean? He's not out of there yet. He's still got to find the radio, unblock the stairs. I know, but we've got a plan for how to do that. And, oh, call incoming from the reporter. The Let me get through now. The reporter. Nash, hello? Nash, are you there? Yes. I'm here. Is everything okay? I, I am. I found the radio. It's right where I thought it would be. It's now bite his dick off. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. The radio works! If I make it out alive, Hopkins might stab, just stab, get that stab, stab. off he wanted. Uh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. Okay. Ah, oh, god damn it. Did it just die? I can't have this stupid thing turned up. How am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead. You just... Oh, that's a good point. But wait, we're the radio. We can just be quiet until you're ready. Eh, if you can do that, then... Yeah, sure. 189.16, I know that's your station number. But a good editor always double checks. Can you confirm that? You got it, 189.16. Good. I've got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send uh, the killer? Oh, God. Guys, where do we send him? Oh no! I made it this far! I made it this far! I'm not ending stream until we get this guy fucking out, saved and alive and out of this building. I'm not willing to kill another person. Um, okay, so I don't even know where this guy is. Uh, oh, Secret Archive's right there. Um,. Me. <laughs> so either the archives, the kitchen, or the boardroom. We don't need him in the boardroom. Unalive me. No. I need you here when Saf isn't. <laughs> uh, so you're not going to the boardroom. Um. I'm gonna do the kitchen. Call the kitchen. The extension is zero two. That could work. The kitchen is far away from the editor's office, but the killer searched it before. Are you sure? He didn't search the kitchen. I'm sure. Make Go the call. Go do it. Okay, calling the kitchen now. on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. 
Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? God, it's stressful. Um, I'll give I'll fake advice. To tell Maurice to hide in the secret archive. The killer will hear me. Go check it out, and we've got it. Oh, I like that. Boom. Make the killer Whoa. think he Woo has the upper hand, and then bam. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Ooh, call coming in. Here we go. I'm Shit. here. I set the radio in the. Oh. He'd already searched. Oh, motherfucker. Son of a fuck! I'm First fucking he's... horrible at this. He's... Dead. <sighs> Let's put on a song. Give us some time to recover. I think that would be for the best, Peggy. <sighs> Folks, we'll be back soon. If you have any stories about Maurice that you'd like to share, give us a call after this next track. It... Well, this is gonna be a long night. Oh, really? I feel like it's going pretty quickly to me. Stop. I could ask you some questions to speed things along. You're gonna interview me. Well... That's two citizens dead. <laughs> I'm gonna have to replay this game when I finish it, just so I can fucking... Um... Just so I don't have to kill everybody. Um... Yeah, so 9.49 a.m. I do want to get some shit done today, so I'm going to send you off to another horror, another horror streamer. Um, uh, should I stick around? I'm going to send you guys to... Uh... Go Silent Hill. Why not? Um, not really many people playing Silent Hill. Uh, do 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 do. I'm actually liking this game. I really am. Um, let's go a little night worse. Uh, yeah, why not? Yeah, I might play this game. I might play this game more. Oh, I got a fucking ad. You have to wait like 30 seconds. Hold on. Give me one second. <laughs> So, I managed to get two people killed. That is not a good record. <laughs> that is a shit record. Oh my god, that is... Shit. Okay, so, what we're gonna do is we're gonna raid out. I know I'm taking fucking forever, but... This is what we're gonna do. Yeah, so I will be streaming. I won't be streaming tomorrow, but I will be streaming Thursday. I don't know what game. I'll figure it out. But, yeah, I will see you guys on Thursday. Most likely Thursday night. So, yeah, I will see everybody then. Bye-bye.